How's it going, boys? Johnny Superb, man, here. And it's time for another NHL 16 shootout commentary. And this time, I'm going to use the Central Division leading Dallas Stars. That's right, the Stars are back. First in the Central Division with a record of 9-3-0. and oh. So, you know, getting off to a good start. But I wouldn't get ahead of yourselves there yet, Dallas Star fans. It's going to be a tough year in that division. The Central Division is just stacked. St. Louis, Minnesota, Nashville, Winnipeg, and Chicago, all in that division and all being playoff teams last year and expect to be playoff teams again this year. All the teams in the Central Division are above 500, except for the Colorado Avalanche, right? So, um, oh, this guy's picking the Dallas Stars as well. All right, we'll have a double feature here. Why not? Fine with that. But Jamie Benn and Tyler Sagan, man, those guys absolutely lighting it up. Uh, one and two in the points, in the point leader categories right now. Jamie Benn, he's got like, uh, what is it, 18. Sagan's got 17. Ben's got like 10 goals in 12 games played. Sagan's been the assist man. He's got like five goals, 17 points in like 12 games. I mean, my God, man. John Klinberg, you know, when they signed him to that deal, people were questioning it. I don't think anyone's questioning it anymore. And what this does is it allows guys like Patrick Sharp and Jason Spezza to play under the radar without the pressure being on them. The stars on that team are Jamie Benn and Tyler Sagan. So Sharp and Spezza can kind of just, you know, play beneath those guys and really shine. They've been playing well as well. Spezza has got 10 points. Sharp has nine, point, uh, nine points. Both have played 12 games, right? So seems to be coming together over there in Dallas. I want to still talk about this, but uh, no. Oh, baby. Are you kidding me? How did I save that? Oh, I'm going to need a new save. It, oh, my, he automatically did that roll. That was fucking, that was incredible. I got to get an instant replay of that afterwards. We'll focus on the shootout, though. So I can no longer do the Balotelli. I wanted to bring it back. So I'll try to do a new one. We'll just see if I can... Uh, let's kick it in! Oh! <laughs> That's not going to work. It's definitely not going to work against Y-Divers. I got to go into free skate and get it. All my old school crazy moves like the Zetterberg and the Balotelli. Uh, Ty Kyle Turistik. It's all gone. I can come up with some new ones, though, but uh, the kick-in, that's going to be tough. All right, what do you got for me? Patrick Sharp going in. No, stack the pads again. I'm loving the stack the pads for shootouts. It, it covers so much ground, and, like, the first save, you guys saw it. Even when he roofs it, the guy will just automatically roll around. What was that movie? That, uh, uh, that movie where the Alaskan hockey team faced the New York Rangers. That goalie made that kind of save at the end of the game. It was incredible. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Kick it in. Fuck it, that's not the freaking Palatelli. All right, so this guy's dirty birdieing. He's wide diving. I got to be patient, and I can roof it into the back of the net. Stop looking like an idiot out there. Jason Spezza, nice try. Maybe next time. All right. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, he's coming in nice and slow. Dirty. Birdie, baby. Hell yeah. He got a little bit too close to me there, Tyler Sagan. What was he doing? He's like having a seizure. Going back and forth like that. Barely moving at all, but I don't know what he was doing. All right, here we go. Nikushkin. Here we go. Nikachu. Stop, baby. Look for it. Look for it. Oh, there you go. I gotta, I gotta give it to him. He stayed patient right there. That would have been the time for a flying poke check. I, yeah, I got nice and close. He didn't move. I outweighed him, though. Nice little shot by Nikachu. Puts it. Low blocker, top blocker. I don't know. All right, Kari Lettinen. Let's go. Make a save. Make a save. What do you got for me? Oh, 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 yeah, you got me that time. Nice move. I thought he was going back to the other side. I thought he was going to the backhand. Oh, he did go to the back. I thought he was going to the forehand. Ah, nice goal. Nice goal there, Alesh Hemsky. You're making me watch it? All right, we can watch it. RoboCam. How long before it's brought to you by uh, the NBCSN RoboCam or something like that? Uh, Hemsky. Let's do Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Boom. Boom. Oh, it's oh, in. No, it's not in. Oh, he's made the save. He did the wide dive. I thought I'd get lucky with it. Pull out the reach around. He did the wide dive. What the hell kind of animation was that, though? <laughs> the puck wasn't up at your chest. Oh, maybe I ran into him. What do you got for me? Gotta make a save. Gotta make a save. No, I went the wrong way again. Ah, I'm still in it. Oh, I thought it was over. Good. Thank God. Who is that? Jason Spezza? Yeah, he must have edited his lineup. <laughs> He's making me watch it again. I'm fine with that, son. I can commentate through it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Patrick Sharp, you gotta score. You gotta score. Let's do the reach around. Here we go. Here we go. Reach around. Boom! Boom! There it is. No dirty bird for you. Come right in there, Patrick Sharp. We don't need to be a prick about it. We can skip our replay. I just want to get one little uh, shot of it. All right, come on, Kari Letting it. You haven't done the flying poke check yet. You haven't done it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, I thought he was going to shoot it. Oh, what do you got? Flying poke check. Yeah, baby. Take out his knees. No mercy, Vernon Fiddler. No mercy. <laughs> All right, let's put this to bed. 
Let's put this to bed. Vernon Fiddler of my own. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Stop. No! Oh! Oh, Fiddler! What a drag! I didn't even mean to do that. That was filthy looking. Vernon Fiddler and the Dallas Stars beat Vernon Fiddler and the Dallas Stars. Oh, my God. Beautiful job. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so let's get back. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. What? Oh, my God. That was sexy looking, I gotta say. Alright, so I had a great end goal and a great uh, initial save with that roll. Look at this. I didn't even mean to do it, but it just looks filthy. It's like, alright, I'll keep my forward. No, you ain't getting that puck. There we go. I'll skate backwards. Put it right in the middle of the net. Beautiful. Alright, so I was just talking about how Jason Spezza and... Uh, and Sharp can play underneath the radar, and so can their goaltenders. I mean, they got two guys who would be considered too good to be backups. I mean, Niemi and Kari Lettinen, right? I, I, don't, I don't know if anyone would call them elite. Maybe Car maybe Kari Lettinen when he's on top of his game. But what you have there is you have two goaltenders that are looking to be the starting guy. So one guy falters, hey, the other guy can come right in there. Uh, maybe try to avoid any long losing streaks, right? Or if an injury happens. So that's really good news. Those guys can kind of play under the radar. It's up there for somebody who wants to take it. And, you know, looking back at it, could you, can you, um, like, it's unbelievable that Tyler Sagan trade. Not the one from Toronto uh, where we gave up the draft pick because we didn't know them. But the Boston Bruins, Shirelli, what did you do to that team before you left? Tyler Sagan for Louis Erickson, Matt Frazier, Riley Smith, and Joe Morrow. I don't care who went back the other way. You traded the second leading point man in the NHL, and you put him alongside of the first leading point man in the NHL, an Art Ross trophy winner in Jamie Benn. I mean, Ben and Sagan are going to be dominating for years to come, and that's the question I want to leave with you guys. You know, it's hard to say oh, who's the best player in the world. You get a lot of different opinions, but... I want to put this question to you guys. Who would be considered the best center-winger combination in the NHL? Is it Ben and Sagan? I mean, you got Taves and Patrick Kane. They don't always play together, though, right? Giroux and Voracek, that's a pretty na nasty combination. The Sedin twins. Crosby and Kessel didn't turn out to be too good. Malkin and Kessel. I don't know, man. I think you can't clear-cut the best player in the world, but I think you can clear-cut the best winger-center combination in the world. It's got to be Jamie Benn and Tyler Sagan. So that's the uh, question I'm putting to you guys. Are those two the best one-two punch right now in the world? I say yes, man. You can't stop those two. Freaking fantastic. And Jamie Benn, 26 years old. Tyler Sagan, 23 years old. Oh my god. Dallas, you guys got a nice one-two punch right there. So I'll put that question to you guys. Let me know, and I'll see you in the next one.